I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. It's a bright, yeah, do you know what, you know, you know what I'm going to say. Bright, beautiful skies, birds are singing, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, and it's a fantastic day. Even if it is a bit bright, you can see I'm squinting a bit. <sighs> Time to try to clear up some of the devastation here that we've been making over the last couple of days. But I've got quite a bit of stuff I need to fix today. A bit of an emergency too. Quick Sunday morning cut of the grass. Trying to get that down into a decent level. And now I've uh, squeezed the safety glove on over my burns. I need to go and sort out something by the chapel. Okay, you may or may not remember, took down that row of conifers at the front and the back, which were dangerous, uh, as well as, oh, you can definitely see that beautiful side now, cutting back this big tree, which was dangerously leaning towards the chapel. This is all exposed. I've got to get a piece of equipment fixed later for somebody else to borrow. Um, my friend Justin from the aid run in the van. But I need to get these down first. So that's a job before my hand hurts too much with the gloves on. All right, well, that's that job done, I think. I could probably do with doing a bit more with the chainsaw, but the vibrations through the burn blisters on my hands are, that's probably about as much as I can handle. Uh, but hey, looks better. The uh, conifer stumps are down as far as I can get them without destroying the chain through the ground. So we need another tool, which I have, which I have to do a little bit of work on. Then we can get rid of these to move the outside lights for there. And then this lock can be mowed, which will keep it nice. And then, I mean, look, this little chapel starting to come alive again, isn't it? cute little thing people actually know is here now. Right. This is the tool that not only do I need to do a couple of quick jobs to, is going to be used to get rid of the stumps, as this is a stump grinder. And first off, let's pump up some tyres, pull it out into sunshine and get a handle on what I need to do. start with something a bit clean and tidy so just cleaned it off a little bit the main stuff underneath let's go back here is these are the teeth these are what go eating the stump as these uh they're flying around at high speeds and of course underneath here is what collects lots of sawdust and all the rest of it gets stuck to the top of that so i'll just jet wash all this off and I need to cut all of this out because that'll impede it, grease things up, and there's some important stuff up there. While that stump grinder dries off, so I can come back to that, I've got to go and do another quick job as uh, I've got to change a plug socket out on the terrace because we are getting ever nearer to the events being held and it's starting to look wonderful out here, especially with this nice sunshine light. Obviously, after all of that work the other day, all of that ivy removal, we need to come out and jet wash and all the rest of it. We're starting to look pretty in here. However, I need to clean the bar up. That needs to go somewhere else. And this outdoor plug, which is just falling apart, needs to go 
Um, but it gets like that because of just how strong the sun is here. So let's get that changed and safe. There we go. That's better. Another simple job. Ticked off the list for the day. A few people asking how that wall had turned out with uh, Rick yesterday. Look at that. It is just fantastic now, isn't it? That's part of the septic tank. And yes, it always oh, needs some work. But this beautiful old wall to the moat will now be IV free. Other side, not so much. And uh, yeah, you've asked a few questions about that. This is what's on the other side, all the way down to the moat. It's going from this side. And that where we'll get the little boat out, out of the swan house. Come across and we'll get that lot down. So this wall is nice, clear, and we'll get this lot pointed. But what happens if you just leave a wall covered in ivy? Well, uh, this is, uh, it falls in because there's the wall coming along, there's a corner. And this sort of fell in because of the ivy. Long before we were here, I can't do much about it. And it's the same in a few different places. You can already see where this is going down. Here's the crack where it's all coming down. You can definitely see it from the other side. I don't know, you can really see the where it fell in. You can see the corners covered in ivy. And it'll be lovely when it's finished. But ivy is a destructive thing and that is why we are spending quite as much time as you are around it. That's where it is all the way up to the wall. That's the whole wall down. And this is where it goes round to that bridge. Not quite as bad. But, you know, the place is on an island, so we need to get rid of that ivy. We are really lucky here, and we get this asked a lot. Lots of chateaus have been abandoned for years or left to <laughs> go derelict for years. Uh, this place wasn't. This was looked after uh, reasonably well. <sighs> Not in the way I'd like to have looked it after. Um, there's lots of decoration and DIY and jobs which are done, which suffice for that moment in time which I wouldn't have done. I would have done them differently, um, but that's because I'm picking up the pieces from those. I'm sure in 60 years' time, there are some people who I will never meet <laughs> who will wonder why I did certain jobs the way I did because I wanted to do them. The biggest problem with this chateau, well, the half that's left, is that no one looked after the grounds in 50 years. And... It's destroyed the place. And not only has it destroyed the place, it's made it so much work to try to get back down to a reasonable level that we can't show half of it because we're not a gardening channel. We're <laughs> a, a chateau renovation channel. And it's really difficult. In the winter, that's really, really hard. And in these summer months, it's wonderful to work outside, but we don't want to bore you. Again, we're not a gardening channel. But for anyone out there that's sitting there with some ivy growing or oh, I don't want to cut the grass today, or I don't want to cut that bramble bush back because, you know, I'd rather have a glass of wine on the patio rather than do anything else. Please. <laughs> I'm looking at the results of that. Go and do it. Go and do it right now. I'm asking you, please, please, send me a message, send me a photo telling me you've gone and done it because I will feel better if this video has made at least somebody else not go through what we do every day. That said, I can give up for the world. When you, all you do is hear those birds, look at the sunshine getting even through the bad clouds that are going on, and uh, we can give up this work for the world, we can give up anything for the world, and you know what? That's all that matters in the life. So, I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. It's Sunday. I've got so much admin to do, it's unbelievable. All for our new venture, which is a big announcement, which is coming up, uh, along with a couple of others. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful time. See you next time.